When we consider the story of 2019, what do you believe will be the biggest decision you'll make, the biggest opportunity ahead, and the biggest challenge? Yeah, no, I, I, I think um, uh, the, the challenges are clearly the, the, the challenges that we're going to have for um, the decisions that we control are going to be how we think about and manage the risk associated with dif differentials in fuel oil cost. It is absolutely essential that our shareholders understand our thinking because uh, one of the first problems will be people announcing profits off the back of uh, undepreciated assets. So it's, it's, it's uh, spending money as capex which goes on the balance sheet rather than through the P&L and then um, not taking or writing down through the P&L uh, the, the drop in value or the need for repair and maintenance in the future. So I think that's going to be problematic for making sure our shareholders understand that so they can properly evaluate our share against somebody else's. Um, I think that making sure that we can give a coherent outlook on what we've done and what we will do on fueling the ships, I think there are going to be supply issues and there's certainly going to be issues around stability um, and availability. So there's a, a few things that I'd like to make sure we could do, which is to give a very clear position of how we're managing that to our shareholders ahead of 2020. Um, in the marketplace, hoping that people will keep their nerve and not chicken out when in 2Q rates begin to fall. I think that there could be a huge mistake there um, and uh, certainly I'd want everybody to understand that uh, we will get bad days in 2019. So let's not imagine it's just going to be, you know, heaven. Finally, Paddy, this is perhaps your third or fourth uh, tanker shipping and trade conference. How have you found this year's? Well, very good. And I like the, um, I, mean, I, I think you have a very good format and a lot of quality speakers. And, and um, I, I think what's really good about it is that it, do, it does something different from a lot of other um, uh, uh, conferences. I think there's a good amount of technical and regulatory content. The reason that that's important is that um, it's got a balance of things you might come here for, market opinion, some company presentation, and a lot of the things that will drive what happens on a daily basis through the technical and, uh, and uh, regulatory side. And that's a nice combination because it doesn't feel like I've just turned up at another conference where 10 speakers will talk about share prices, PEs, uh, what I call business school business. There's good operational content here.